Conventional firearms have long been rendered useless underwater, as standard bullets rapidly lose their momentum and lethality within just a few feet of submersion. However, this age-old limitation is poised to be shattered by a groundbreaking innovation from Norwegian company DSG Technology. Harnessing the principles of supercavitation, DSG has developed the CAV-X, a revolutionary projectile that defies the constraints of underwater physics. This unique bullet, with its ingenious design, can pierce through the water barrier that has historically shielded targets seeking refuge beneath the surface. Capable of striking targets up to 200 feet away with lethal force, the CAV-X opens up unprecedented possibilities for a new breed of underwater combat operatives. How does this new bullet work? And what makes it different from traditional bullets? From air to aquatic battleground. Conventional ammunition is designed for aerial trajectories, propelling bullets toward their targets at supersonic velocities surpassing 2,500 feet per second. However, this performance utterly falters in the aquatic realm, where the dense medium of water swiftly robs bullets of their momentum, rendering them ineffective over even small distances. For decades, special operations forces operating in underwater environments have grappled with the significant limitations imposed by their conventional ammunition. But now, a new generation of specialized bullets promises to unlock a realm of capabilities once deemed impossible, enabling special forces personnel to engage in live-fired combat while fully submerged, targeting both hostile divers and their underwater vehicles. DSG Technology unveiled their revolutionary CAVEX ammunition at the 2019 Global Special Operations Forces Symposium in Brussels, unveiling a range of multi-environment projectiles capable of functioning seamlessly underwater. According to Andre Garberg, DSG's founder and CEO, the development of this game-changing technology can be traced back to the 1980s. Over the decades, the CAVEX project advanced steadily but discreetly flying under the radar until the current phase kicked off in 2010. As stated on DSG's website, their patented CAVEX technology, short for Super Cavitating Ammunition, allows these specialty bullets to operate effectively in partial or fully submerged weapons, regardless of whether the target is in water or on the surface. The Secrets of Super Cavitation Designing ammunition capable of withstanding extreme underwater forces while maintaining pinpoint accuracy is an immense challenge. It requires a deep understanding of fluid dynamics, material science, and ballistics engineering. After scouring the aerospace industry for manufacturers up to the task, ESG claims to have cracked the code. An ingenious solution? Encasing a bullet in a bubble of gas to drastically reduce drag underwater allowing it to maintain lethal velocities. This mind-bending process known as supercavitation has already been harnessed by the Russian VA-111 Shkval torpedo to speed through the waves at blistering speeds up to five times faster than conventional torpedoes. The supercavitation is achieved through the bullet's flat, disc-shaped nose and the wings are sharp lip. As it pierces the water, this unique design violently displaces the liquid creating an air-filled cavity enveloping the projectile's body. With only the tungsten tip making contact with the water, drag is minimized, enabling the bullet to retain its impressive performance. Unlike other competing underwater ammo concepts, DSG's bullets don't rely on stabilizing fins. The company is currently developing two distinct CAVEX variants, an A2 load for air-to-water engagements without course deviation upon water entry, and the X2 load, optimized for underwater-to-underwater -underwater or underwater-to-surface fire missions. But DSG's ambitions extend beyond the depths. They're also working on bullets capable of punching through sandbags, body armor, and up to an inch of solid steel. If they can achieve these claims, the results would be genuinely remarkable. During testing with a standard 12.7mm caliber cartridge, the DSG bullet demonstrated an accurate range of nearly 200 feet underwater. That's almost the length of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This previously unheard of feat opens up a whole new world of mission capabilities that were simply impossible before. According to Andre Garber, the company plans to offer its supercavitating bullets to NATO members and allied governments across the globe. After all, who wouldn't want to get their hands on this kind of firepower? 
CAVAX in action. Odd Leon Hartson, the SG's chief science officer, revealed that the company has been testing its bullets with firearms currently used by the U.S. military. However, he noted that a gas piston weapon would likely be required for optimal underwater shooting performance. In 2019, a spokesperson from the United States Special Operations Command, SOCOM, confirmed that they were indeed evaluating supercavitating ammunition, although they didn't explicitly name DSG as the supplier for those trials. Rumor has it that SOCOM has also begun experimenting with DSG's new bullets, which could potentially allow elite frogmen to shoot upwards into enemy boats or helicopter gunners to hit submarines lurking just below the surface. That same year, DSG conducted their own live fire demonstration at a shooting range near Fayetteville, North Carolina. Using a Colt AR-15 rifle, a company employee fired a CAVEX bullet through blocks of ballistic gelatin, the same type used by the FBI for forensic testing. While a regular bullet would typically only penetrate a couple of those gelatin cubes, the DSG CAVEX round blasted straight through a staggering 13 of them. Imagine the kind of damage that could do to a target underwater. Eventually, the SOCOM team plans to put the bullets through their pacer by firing them from underwater up to the surface. If those tests are a success, they could be a game changer for special operations. Because conventional ammo is essentially useless for combat divers and special ops teams conducting subsurface missions with scuba gear or rebreathers, adding DSG's CAVEX bullets to their arsenal would be a major game changer. Instead of being limited to up close and personal knife fights with hostile frogmen, elite Navy SEALs and other special forces could pack some serious underwater firepower. But it gets better. Since the DSG bullets are designed to be fired from existing weapons used by U.S. Special Forces, troops would only need to carry a single gun for operations both above and below the waves. No more lugging around separate firearms for different environments. In contrast, the Russian standard-issue APS underwater rifle is pretty effective underwater, but it's pretty much useless once you breach the surface. With the DSG ammo, U.S. forces could maintain a seamless fighting capability, regardless of the operating domain. Shooting from the air into the water would unlock all sorts of new tactical possibilities for the Navy and Coast Guard. Imagine being able to reliably engage targets underwater without worrying about bullet ricochets that plague conventional ammo. Boats could take pot shots at incoming torpedoes using their deck-mounted guns, and then the Mi subs would have to submerge way deeper to stay out of range from airborne shooters. Some critics have raised concerns about the potential ecological impacts of dispersing gas bubbles produced by the ammunition underwater. However, the prospect of extending the reach of live fire to the ocean depths is undeniably exciting for modern military operations. The Future of Underwater Warfare While the advent of DSG's CAVEX bullets seem immensely promising, it's important to remember that we're still in the relatively early stages of this supercavitating technology. There are bound to be some growing pains and mishaps along the way, as we figure out how to properly wield this aquatic firepower. In a series of artist renderings published online about the potential of DSG's CAVAX ammo, some roles included an aquatic firefight with other divers. In another example, which feels like something out of a video game or action movie, a diver underwater shoots out a security camera overlooking a docking area. Most interestingly, the examples also touched on trained animal warfare. But you cannot rule out the fact that there might be some unintended consequences of this technology. Speaking of consequences, one cannot help but wonder about the long-term environmental impact of all those gas bubbles being pumped into our oceans. While the bullets themselves probably won't be fired in large enough quantities to cause significant damage, what happens when other industries inevitably try to capitalize on this supercavitation tech for their own purposes? We could potentially be looking at a future filled with bubble-trailing cargo ships, supercavitation-powered cruise liners, maybe even supercavitation-powered torpedoes for our most elite special forces operators. The mere fact that we are now able to effectively neutralize the age-old advantage of being underwater is a monumental achievement in modern warfare. Who knows? Perhaps this breakthrough will eventually lead to the development of handheld undersea firearms that could allow sailors to defend their vessels from hostile divers trying to cause damage. 
or maybe anti-submarine jets capable of eliminating enemy subs from the air. The possibilities are both thrilling and terrifying. One thing is for sure, the dynamics of subsurface combat have been forever altered. In the long run, there is a possibility that in the not so distant future, bullets could penetrate even the depths of the ocean, opening up a world of possibilities for modern warfare. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post amazing videos like this.